wish things could be different. Whitney's only real escape is writing down tales of Neverland. After nearly meeting her hero, Peter Pan, four years earlier, she still holds on to the childhood hope that his magical home truly exists. She also holds on to his shadow. So when the, an, an opportunity to travel to Neverland via a pirate ship presents itself, Wendy makes a deal with the devil. But never Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an unboxing of a book that's in a series that I recently come to like. Okay. Come on. Straight on to the morning. What if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook. Sixteen-year-old Wendy Darling's life is not what she imagined it would be. The dull drums of an empty house after her brothers have gone to school, the dull parties where everyone thinks she talks too much, and the fact that her parents have decided to send her away to Ireland as a governess, it all makes her wish things could be different. Wendy's only real escape is writing down tales of Neverland. After nearly meeting her hero, Peter Pan, four years earlier, she still holds on to the childhood hope that his magical home truly exists. She also holds on to his shadow. So when the, an, an opportunity to travel to Neverland via a pirate ship presents itself, Wendy makes a deal with the devil. But Neverland isn't quite the place she imagined it would be. Unexpected dangers and strange foes pop up at every turn, and a little pixie named Tinkerbell seems less than willing to help. But when Captain Hook reveals some rather permanent and evil plans for Neverland, it's up to it's up to the two of them to save Peter Pan and his world. This is. One, two, three, four, seven, eight in the series. All the books are A Whole New World, about Aladdin, As Told as Time, about Beauty and the Beast, Once Upon a Time, about Sleeping Beauty, Part of the World, about Little Mermaid, Reflection about Mulan, Mirror, Mirror, about Snow White, then Conceal Them Feel about Anna and Elsa, and now this one. I have read A Whole New World as old as time, Once Upon a Time, Part of the World, Reflection, Mirror, Mirror. All I have to read is Conceal Them Feel and Straight On to Morning. But I honestly am thinking about rereading these two. Only because I don't really remember them as much. But I am going to reread them. These books are a retelling about what, it, what ifs. Like for this one. What if Jafar had gotten the genie lamp first instead of Aladdin? What would have happened and how would he have been defeated? This one. You know what happened to the beast? He was cursed and all that, and Bell was the love that changed him. But, what happened if the one who cursed the beast was an unlikely force? And what happened? when all that changed. If all that changed. Once Upon a Dream is if Sleeping Beauty never woke up, the how would she have defeated Maleficent? Who saved her 
and what came of Maleficent and Sleeping Beauty's parents. What if this part of your world is about if Ursula married Eric instead of Ariel? How would Eric's world be changed by Ursula being Eric's wife? And what happened to Ariel? Reflection is pretty much what if General Shang died and that was in the avalanche in the snow? What would happen? And how would Mulan save him? Mirror Mirror is about Snow White and how would the evil queen hurt her and instead of poisoning Snow White the evil queen poisoned the prince instead conceal don't feel I haven't read this yet but it's pretty much what if Anna and Nessa didn't know each other how would that go how would they come to me this one what if Wendy went to Neverland with Captain Hook instead of Peter Pan. I will let you all know what ha what happens with these books as soon as I finish reading these two and Mulan and Snow White books. But these are the backs. What if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook? What if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? What if the evil queen poisoned the prince? What if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? What if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? What if the Sleeping Beauty never woke up? What if Belle's mother cursed the beast? What if Aladdin never found the lamp? These are good retellings of Disney classics. And if you love Disney as much as I do, you would find them good a good read.